Looking back on my experience with the Galaxy S23 Ultra this few weeks, I must admit it is largely subjective and heavily swayed by my affinity for compact phones. However, this has not been altered much over the years. So, today we will be talking about the good, the bad, and the painful of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Let us begin. The Good To give you an idea of who I am as a smartphone user, I'll start by saying that, unlike many tech fans, I'm not a power user. Now let me talk about the best parts of my journey, which will provide the context for this experience. I like to keep my phone usage minimal, focusing primarily on web browsing, reading the news, and messaging. Although I do consume occasional media on my phone, I still prefer to do so on my laptop. I'm appreciating how much fun it can be to watch videos on smartphones now. The Ultra's slightly curved display makes the whole experience super immersive, and I never dreamed that watching videos could be so enjoyable. Kudos to the developers for making such an awesome product. Reading web content has become a much more pleasant experience thanks to the extra screen space. It's almost like a game changer. The Galaxy S23 Ultra surprised me. It made me abandon my beloved Kindle. The Ultra's display was so much better for reading newspapers and other content that I just had to switch. As a minimalist, I was delighted to reduce the number of devices I had to charge. Consequently, I can now comprehend why people prefer bigger screens. However, does that imply that I like them too? The Bad Now it's time to look at the practical uses of smartphones. Just like most of us, I always carry my phone with me, not only so I can stay connected, but also as an alternative to carrying a wallet around. No doubt, fitting the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra into your pocket would be a Herculean task, unlike the iPhone 13 mini size. Despite what others may say, I'm quite certain your pocket won't work as a creative storage option. I'm so lucky that I normally have my backpack with me. It means I can easily store my Ultra phone in there. It still isn't the most ideal solution, but it's better than having to deal with carrying around a bulky phone and trying to answer calls in crowded places. Carrying a bag pack with me has been a lifesaver. It was the perfect place to store my Ultra, so I was always good to go no matter where I was headed. Thank goodness it all worked out. Although carrying a backpack isn't ideal for answering calls in crowded places, it is still a great solution. It's no surprise why wearables and other tech gadgets are so appealing to people. I find it difficult to connect with them though. Taking all factors into account, I can confidently say that the Galaxy S23 Ultra is not ideal for those who prioritize portability. It may be okay for many people, but it certainly did not work for me. The Painful While previously, I faced several issues while using my phone, this latest annoyance tops them all. Having comparatively smaller hands makes it quite difficult to reach the top of a standard-sized iPhone 14 or S23 Ultra. The Galaxy S23 Ultra was a hassle to use daily, especially with one hand. It became increasingly more difficult when I had to perform certain tasks, such as taking photos. Even with the best case, my grip on my phone wasn't what I wanted it to be. This made me worry a lot about dropping my $1,200 mobile, not an experience I wish for others. Leave your thoughts in the comments and hit that subscribe button if you're a first-time viewer. Can't wait to chat with you in the next video.